So most of these numbers do come out during market hours. Sticking uh, focus with earnings, Mandela Holiday declared numbers uh, earlier yesterday. The management is now joining us on a phone line. So if you could just take us through the uh, highlights of the quarter. Has it been a quarter as you predicted? Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, it's been a quarter that we kind of predicted. Uh, mainly, we saw um, a drop in footfalls because of our bad weather that we had in the south. And that affected our numbers, especially for uh, November. And that kind of, you know, had a cascading effect on our, uh, you know, our quarter numbers as well. But having said that, we still managed to post a revenue growth of roughly about 7%. Um, in terms of our EBITDA, we've, uh, we've seen a slight decline. That's more mainly because our uh, employee costs have, have gone up by roughly 25% for the quarter. Uh, this is because we've had some uh, top-level recruitment done in the company uh, in view of our uh, new Hyderabad Park that is being launched. And also, we've had, uh, you know, declare a higher bonus for uh, last year as well, and that has been provided for. So that is an extra 50 lakhs that has been provided. So this, these two factors have, uh, you know, increased our employee costs a little bit. Uh, but otherwise, I think everything is, uh, been, uh, you know, according to uh, prediction. Uh, the employee costs, uh, you know, it's a temporary one-time phenomenon. It should not uh, reflect in the future. Right. Uh, you know, what do you make of the volumes that we are seeing? Uh, our volume is, is volume growth picking up? Volume growth is picking up after the November uh, problem, whatever we faced. I think things have, you know, stabilized back and, uh, and now we are seeing an uptick in numbers. If that continues, I think we will uh, hit, uh, you know, roughly 15 to 20% growth in top line for the entire year and uh, similar number in profitability as well. We are, so we are not changing that. It's just that the footfalls for the year, we might have a slight decline compared to what we had projected earlier. But I think overall we, we are in line with estimates. Next year, uh, we are, you know, we'll see a big jump in our uh, revenues and footfalls because of our new park open. Uh, so, yeah, so that's how we are looking at it. Right. Uh, you know, uh, how would you essentially look at the pricing growth? Uh, are we expected to see pricing growth also within that 10-15% number that you just told us? Uh, actually, this year our pricing growth has been much higher because we, you know, we have the impact of service tax. So our, our uh, end user price has grown by almost 25%. But this is uh, unique to this year. Next year onwards, I think our pricing, uh, you know, will be uh, roughly between seven and eight percent is what we usually hike our prices, and that will be applicable from April onwards. And yes, that will be that will continue. But I think uh, so. This year is an aberration in terms of pricing as well, and that is also related to some you know loss of footfall. Right. Uh, you know, you just mentioned about new hiring that has happened. Where is the next park likely to open? What's the CAPEX plan for next uh, 12 months? Uh, we are opening a park in Hyderabad, uh, which should be open sometime in April, and we will make an announcement on that shortly. Uh, it will be op operation from April 2016 onwards, and uh, it should contribute roughly between 65 to 70 crores, 65 crores at least on top line for the next financial year. The capex, total capex projected for this uh, uh, park is roughly 250 crores. Uh, I think uh, it will be completely deployed by the end of this financial year. Right. Uh, as far as FY17 is now, uh, concerned, any sort of initial numbers or any initial growth targets that you're looking at? Uh, like I said earlier, we will see an extra. We were, we are projecting a roughly 15 to 20 percent growth in top line from our existing parks, and then an added. Crore uh, from the new project. That is 65 crores from the new project is what we are Right. Uh, Sir, thank you so much for uh, taking out time for us. Always a pleasure uh, talking to you. I think uh, the Economic Affairs Secretary meeting is, uh, the press briefing is going on.